This video is going to be a little different than our others. We lost a friend this week and needed the space to try to wrap our heads around the loss. His name was Drew. He was the kind of guy who made you feel like anything was possible. A giver, a philanthropist, a creator, the kind of human we should all try to imitate. He was powerfully present. Drew made you feel like you were the only person in the room. In this life, we're all only here for a moment. Our time here is brief. Death is a confusing thing to grapple with. Sometimes it feels like a welcomed friend to an aging grandparent who has lived a full life and is ready to go. Other times, like now, it feels like a foe, ripping away an impactful soul, what feels like much too soon, and leaving this gaping void in your known universe. You'd give anything to be outside of time and go back to relive the times when their energy was so alive. Maybe you can grab onto it, save some brilliance in your pocket for the day that their soul returns to a place we will all one day go. And where is that? When does it occur exactly? The past couple of times I've lost a close loved one, I felt that they went from being here to suddenly being everywhere, in every gust of wind, in every blade of grass, in every smile from a stranger. They're no longer here with us, but also incredibly here with us. Sometimes in this ever-changing game of life, the universe reveals what you thought to be a marathon, to be a sprint. It reveals the time we take for granted to be fickle and reckless. It challenges us to make the most of our experience here, to love more deeply, to be more joyful and whimsical, to create things with passion and heart, and to display and give away the very kindness that we would want to receive. It leads us to reflect on that which is good. It encourages us to make that phone call, to send that text, maybe even just pop by a friend's house unannounced like the good old days. But more than anything, I believe God wants us to use the pain of loss to feel that much more connected to the world around us. To see yourself connected to the stranger at the grocery store, to hear the birds and the trees more clearly, and to remind ourselves, the very air we breathe brings us life in each eternal moment.